Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and we have even more free agency news for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This time, though, they're signing a new face. In a way, he is still very familiar to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, as it has been announced by Ian Rappaport, among many other people, that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are signing former Atlanta Falcons wide receiver, Russell Gage. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers now have a new number three wide receiver, at 26 years old at that this is a really really good signing for the tampa bay buccaneers russell gage was one of the top receiving options for the falcons the past two seasons of his playing time and he's been able to do a lot he's been able to do really good work on the outside as a wide receiver really good work as a slot receiver he's very versatile can do a lot of good things i think russell gage is going to be a very solid very capable fit in a byron leftwich style offense and in my opinion folks russell gage is probably one of the better third wide receiver options that were out there. I know I made a video talking about how the Buccaneers were going to be interested in a guy like Jarvis Landry. I put Russell Gage right up there in a similar tier. I think that this is going to be a very, very productive signing for the Bucs. We don't have any contract details yet as to how many years or what type of money Russell Gage is going to be getting. Once that information is out, I will be putting it down in a pinned comment down in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, Russell Gage, welcome to Tampa. The Bucks are continuing to go all in as bringing in as many weapons as possible for Tom Brady, who's, who is returning to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And they got a really, really good weapon now in Russell Gage. I'm pumped up about this one. I, I really am. This is going to be a good signing. Hopefully it's on a multi-year deal. I think if you have a wide receiver trio of Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and Russell Gage, you're in a fantastic position for your wide receiver group for a good long while. It takes pressure off of guys like Tyler Johnson, like Jalen Darden, and maybe Scotty Miller if he does end up figuring into the final roster of this team. You know, they can be more role player type guys. They can ease themselves more into the NFL and kind of just pick and choose their spots as role players because Russell Gage is going to be there as that third receiving option and he is going to be a very very good receiving option at that I'm I'm, I'm really pumped up about this one guys this is a very very good signing for the Bucks. uh you know can't wait to see how long the deal is how much money Russell Gage is getting uh yeah this is a good New, but also somewhat familiar face for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers joining a very, very lethal passing attack that just got even better. So what do you guys think about this signing? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.